Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about how Rihanna opened a $1 billion business company. Let's get right into it. Rihanna was born on February 20th, 1988, in St. Michael, Barbados. She used to like singing and exploring her neighborhood when she was a child. She has always enjoyed music and has a creative spirit. However, Rihanna's life was not always carefree. She observed her father's drunkenness, which led to domestic violence. Rihanna's father assaulted her mother on a frequent basis, to the point that it became routine. The authorities were never involved because the family did not want their disagreements to be made public. This aggression was directed against Rihanna at times. Despite these tensions, Rihanna's father instilled in her a strong entrepreneurial drive. He would sell clothes on the side of the road, and she would frequently accompany him. She also started selling small products like sweets at school for a profit, which helped to supplement her family's income. Rihanna's father was eventually consumed by his addictions. He frequently chose drugs and alcohol above providing finances for rent and food, putting enormous strain on Rihanna as the family's oldest sibling. Despite her father's efforts to clean up and make things right, the harm had been done. At the same time, Rihanna was subjected to bullying at school on a regular basis. They would often call her insulting names because she was biracial and had a lighter complexion than her classmates. Rihanna developed a harsh exterior as a result, which would eventually become one of her defining features. She did, however, suffer from sadness and anxiety, which expressed as headaches and terrible migraines. Despite the obstacles, Rihanna was determined to build a name for herself. Rihanna used to like singing with her pals in high school. She joined a musical trio with two other classmates, which provided her with numerous opportunities to hone her skills. This was both a therapeutic outlet and a source of delight for her. Her life changed dramatically after she met Evan Rogers, a music producer based in New York City. Roger and his wife Jackie managed to run into each other while on holiday in Barbados for Christmas in 2003. He was blown away by Rihanna's singing and invited her to record some tracks in New York that spring. Rihanna collaborated on nearly a dozen songs with Rogers and his collaborator Carl Sturkin. She began looking for a label to distribute her music. Rihanna met Sean Carter, better known as Jay-Z, who was the president and CEO of Def Jam Recordings. The rapper quickly offered her a deal, which resulted in her breakthrough single, Pond the Replay, in 2005. Her first album, Music of the Sun, was released soon after and was a commercial success. The album charted in several countries and sold over 2 million copies worldwide. Rihanna was only 17 years old when she became famous. Rihanna's second album, A Girl Like Me, was released in 2006. The album debuted at number 5 on the Billboard 200 and sold over 2 million copies worldwide. It featured the hit singles S.O.S. and Unfaithful. Rihanna's third album, Good Girl Gone Bad, catapulted her to global superstardom. The album was certified diamond by the Recording Industry Association of America after topping charts in over 15 nations. It gave birth to the popular singles Umbrella, Take a Bow and Disturbia. Rihanna's fourth studio album, Rated R, was released to widespread acclaim in 2009. Rihanna collaborated with artists such as Slash and Will I Am on the album, which had a more edgy feel. It gave birth to the big singles, Hard and Rude Boy. Rihanna had become one of the world's most popular and successful singers at this point. She received various honors and was named by Forbes as one of the 100 most powerful celebrities. Rihanna has also ventured into other economic enterprises, which account for the majority of her enormous billion-dollar net worth. She is the world's wealthiest female musician and the richest businesswoman after Oprah Winfrey. Rihanna's businesses include her makeup company, Fenty Beauty, Lingerie Line, Sauvage X Fenty, and luxury apparel label Fenty. Rihanna made her commercial debut in 2011 with the release of her first fragrance, Rebel Fleur, which sold $80 million in its first year. She debuted another fragrance, Rebel, the following year, and has since released nearly a dozen scents, with another on the way through her cosmetics company, Fenty. She worked as a creative director for Puma, Mac, River Island, Armani, Covergirl, and Dior. These relationships aided her in learning the company and forming important collaborations. Rihanna launched her own beauty line, Fenty Beauty, in 2017. The brand became a pioneer for women of color by emphasizing the inclusion of all women's skin tones. The company began with 40 foundation tones and has now evolved to include concealer, highlighters, lipstick and other cosmetics. Her apparel line, Savage X Fenty, is likewise well known for its diversity. The collection includes lingerie and sleepwear in sizes ranging from XS to triple XL. Many individuals throughout the world are inspired by Rihanna's success story. 
Her commitment and hard work have paid off, and she is now one of the world's most accomplished young women. Take a page from Rihanna's book and never give up on your aspirations if you want some advice. Be creative, multi-talented, self-aware, and constantly give back to the community. We can all take something from Rihanna's amazing narrative and use it to fuel our own goals. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.